see that's what's wrong with boxing. Everybody's scared to lose. You can't win if you're scared to lose. If you don't fight the best opponent out there, then what you doing? You're wasting time. You understand me? That's why we don't like what we're seeing in boxing now. The best don't want to fight the best. You understand? What happened to the days when Roy Jones was on the throne? What happened to those days? Nobody cares no more about being the best? I don't understand that. So yeah, we know it's a chance anybody might get beat. You know, anybody can land one punch and do anything at any time. That's part of what we go through. But the fact of the matter is, if you want to be the best, you wouldn't go take that test. If you don't take that test, you can't never claim or profess to be the best. You feel me? Do people realize that the days of the competitive fighter is over with? Do you know after Joshua hangs him up, after Crawford hangs him up, after Uzik hangs him up, after Devin Haney hangs him up, you could forget about the competitive nature that's supposed to be in a fighter. Boxing has always been what it was. It's a scumbag sport ran by scumbags. But it's the boxing fans who killed the last straw of competitiveness in boxing. Two of your biggest stars in boxing are cherry pickers. Canelo and Gervonta. Okay? Two of your biggest stars. And of course, everybody in boxing wants to be like the guy who's making all the money, who's the biggest star. Hence, that's why you had T.O. trying to move like Canelo. Okay? Then, you take a look at Javante Tank Davis and what he's doing, and you'll instantly understand what Jerron Boots Ennis is doing. See, people couldn't figure it out. But I did. You know, he's going the tank route. 30-some fights, ain't fought nobody, ain't trying to fight nobody, but getting, getting paid this, 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 that, and the third. That also comes from having your two biggest stars be cherry pickers. They're setting the trend. See, people only want to notice people setting trends. Well, not trends, but following a pattern is when it's negative. Then they want to attach it to Mayweather. But if Mayweather has done something in boxing that has left an impression that got these guys moving funny, then don't you think that's naturally what happened with the next guy. So if that's the impression that he left, then what is the impression that Canelo is leading with? It's that same impression that's charging Javante Tank Davis trail. These guys are not fighting nobody and they're not compelled to fight nobody because they have a fan base to hide behind to protect them that'll help facilitate the revenue and the funds. And as long as you got that, the boxing world, the scumbags, they don't care to make the fight, the competitive fights that the fans want to see and stuff like that. They don't care about us. It's all about shoving shit down our throat and telling us it's cookies. That's really what this whole thing is about. And the fan, this is the interesting thing. The fan, see, in boxing, the competitive fighter is ridiculed by the industry and hated by the fans these cherry picking fighters all right they only get criticized by the fans but never criticized by anybody in the industry okay so meaning mainstream has a lot to say about the joshuas the crawfords and the haney's OK, but when it comes to the bullshitters like the Canelo's and like the and like the Javante's notice in mainstream media, they're supported. Hold on. Damn, Bruce, you right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. The competitive fighters are ridiculed in the mainstream and hated by the fans. OK. The cherry pickers are adored or loved by the mainstream and the only time the cherry pickers hear something real is when it comes from the fans so the last bit of competitive nature in boxing you the boxing fan you've almost most certainly have killed it
Because as we have discovered, especially in these past three weeks, we have discovered boxing is not about competition or fighting the best. I think we all can say that now. It used to be that way. But how many fighters have the mentality of Joshua, have the mentality of Crawford, have the mentality of Uzi? You know what I'm saying? How many? It's not a lot out there. And if they are like that, boxing fans, y'all hate them. Y'all hate them. Because it puts pressure on your cherry pickers like the Canelos. When are you going to fight David Benavidez? He's a punk. And it puts pressure on people like Javante Tank Davis. Man, well, well when are you going to fight anybody? You know what I'm saying? Shakur Haney, anybody. You acting like a punk. That's why y'all hate the competitive fighter. But it's not just you. The industry doesn't like the competitive fighter either. That's why all the movers and shakers in boxing are highly ridiculed and judged in the mainstream. But the cherry pickers get to float right on by. Now, boxing has always been what boxing is. But the last determining factor, which got this mentality pushing up daisies, is the fan. Because the need to be a fanboy was more important for the need to see and watch a competitive sport. Boxing, we can now admit, is about man worship. I know. I know. Sounds zesty as hell, don't it? But that's exactly what it is. Man worship. Because if it wasn't about man worship... You don't have no problem seeing no David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez. You want to see it. You're a boxing fan. You know, if it wasn't about adoring a man, you wouldn't have had no problem with Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. You would have wanted to see that fight. You know, if it's about you loving the sport, you would love to see Javante against anybody. But y'all don't. It's all about protecting and trying to tear somebody down. That's not a sport. There's nothing competitive. There's nothing even compelling to talk about with another person with the sport in a state like this. Because it's too much damn emotion for us to even enjoy talking about a sport that we supposedly both love. So the boxing fans, when you showing up and you getting a whole bunch of Javante Davises like an assembly line, look in the mirror. When you get a whole bunch of Gerons, look in the mirror. When you don't get these epic fights, when they don't want to fight each other, when they 36, almost 40 something fights and ain't fought no name or nothing and stuff like that. Look at yourself. That's the boxing fan. It's the boxing fans and the double standard from the bigotry that fucked this whole thing up. Now the, the competitive fighter is dead. Once Crawford hang him up, gone. Once Joshua hang him up, gone. Which one of these new young guys do you see with that kind of mentality? Really? Honestly. These young guys don't want to fight each other. I don't care what none of them say. The only young guy that I think that I know wants to fight is Devin because he has proved it. Nobody else has tried to record and turn down a fight. This person turned down a fight. None of these young guys want to mix it up. They running out of divisions as soon as a guy get into the division. Though the competitive boxer is over. The only thing left is the spectacle and the clown show. That's it. So take a bow, bigot. Take a bow, fanboy. You didn't fuck this all up. But you know what's crazy? Y'all let a group of people come in here and fuck this sport up. And they're not even a fan of the sport. Most of the people that comment are fucking gamers. We're dancing around in a waiting game. Sharing our doubts. Feeling the pain, looking out from our towers, we search in vain.